Land pollution may be understood as a deterioration of the Earth's land surfaces, often directly or indirectly as a result of man's activities. It may also refer to brownfield land, habitat destruction, land degradation, litter, and soil contamination. The chief causes of land pollution include increased urbanization, disposal of non-biodegradable substances in garbage and litter, agricultural use of chemical herbicides, pesticides, and fertilizers, dumping of industrial wastes, and the improper treatment of sewage. Natural events like volcanic eruptions and tsunamis can bring about land pollution. When the large amounts of sulfuric acid are poured out into the atmosphere during volcanic eruptions, they are precipitated in acid rain. Soil acidification might take place where the acid rain falls on the soil. And when the tsunamis hit the coastal land, the flush of saline water onto soil can lead to soil salination. Nonetheless, these natural events are by far few and uncommon. Some natural events, like soil erosion, occur more frequently in nature. But when it comes to the scale of land pollution, man's impact often greatly outdo that of nature. What are the effects of land pollution? The biggest problem that land pollution creates is the impact it has on the surrounding environments. Every form of land pollution kills off the habitats of land animals as well as aquatic life. The more we deplete these habitats, the more the ecosystem is thrown out of balance. Without a well-balanced ecosystem, more animals die from overpopulation to underpopulation. Aside from the moral issues associated with this, we can see deforestation, the effects of mining as the surrounding trees die off, and we can smell the effects on our shorelines and within our cities. So, how can we prevent land pollution? As land pollution is a problem that is harmful to mankind as well as to nature as a whole, efforts to curb it must be taken by each and every individual. Authorities must take efforts to spread awareness about the causes and effects of land pollution. Even the industries must strictly follow the norms for waste product disposal. So, encourage recycling and reuse of non-biodegradable materials, Avoid the use of harmful chemical pesticides as well as fertilizers and refrain from dumping toxic wastes on land. All these measures can contribute greatly for controlling land pollution.